Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful geometry map problem. Let us here we have given a circle and there are two line segments which are perpendicular to each other and one segment is passes through the center of the circle. Our job is to find out the radius of this circle. Now to solve this problem there are many methods used to solve it but here we will use one of the easiest method that is the chords intersecting theorem. Now to use the chord intersecting theorem here, we need two chords intersecting each other. So for it here, we will expand these two line segments such that they become the chords of the circle. So let's expand these two perpendiculars. Now after expanding these two line segments, let's suppose this is point A, this is point B, this is point C, this is center O of the circle, this is point D and this is point E on the circle. Now to get to this one card AC, here this card AC is passing through the center of the circle. So therefore this will, card will divide the perpendicular card into two equal parts, two equal segments. So this segment BE is 6 units, therefore this segment will be also 6 units. And here this segment BC is 10 units. So what about this one length, what will be this one length? Let us suppose this length is X because this is not given. Here we have two chords called AC and called DE which are intersecting each other at point B. So here we will apply the chords intersecting theorem and we will find out the radius of this circle. So by chords intersecting theorem we can write Now by chords intersecting theorem, if we have two chords inside the circle such that the chords intersecting each other at a point, then the product of two segments of one chord will be equal to the product of two segments of the second chord. So here in this chord AC we have two parts, two segments AB and BC. In this chord we have two segments DB and BE. So therefore here we can write the product of AB times BC will be equal to the product of DB times BE. So this will become DB times BE. Now let's substitute the values from the figure. So here AB is X, BC is 10, DB is 6 and BE is also 6. So this will become, this will become X times, this is 10 units is equal to this is 6 units times 6. So this will become 10x is equal to 6 times 6 is simply 36. Let us divide both sides by 10 to eliminate 10 from the left hand side. So this 10 and this 10 will be cancelled. So the value of x will become, this will become 3.6 units. So this is the remaining segment here. So therefore this segment x is, this ab is 3.6. 6 units. Now look at to this one called AC. This is the diameter of the circle which has a length of 10 plus 3.6 units. Now to find out the radius of this circle here we will divide this diameter by 2. So therefore from here from this figure we can write this AC is which is the diameter of the circle. This is the sum of the segments 3.6 plus 10. Now this is simply 13.6 6 which is the diameter now dividing the diameter by 2 it gives him the radius of the circle so therefore the radius of the circle will become this will become 13.6 divided by 2 it is simply 6.8 units and that is our final answer and final radius of the circle so finally this radius of the circle it is about 6.8 units and that is our final answer